Yes, Manik Fan sir, you said uh, at the time of uh, Prophet, uh, when he was uh, alive, the uh, the calendar which was observed by the people uh, in Arabia, they were observing artificial lunar calendar. So, what is actually artificial lunar calendar, and why why is it uh, why is it artificial, so to say? The artificial lunar calendar was in vogue in Arabia at the time when the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was born. The, we know that the Jews started living in Medina in the first century AD itself. They were living there. They had a calendar. They had the artificial lunar calendar. That is the Hebrew calendar. It was a very old one. They had made this calendar because they were not able to calculate exactly the months of 29 and 30. So, they have to use a calendar. They invented this artificial lunar calendar. That is 30, 29, 30, 29, like this alternating regularly. And this uh, gives, you see, 30 days, 6 months and 29 days, 6 months. Total, 354 days it will give. They knew that sometimes one day is more, that is 55 it becomes. So they had used uh, to use a leap year. They have some calculation and they... Uh, have the leap year in the last month which ends in 29. So they were using this calendar when the Prophet ﷺ was born. The Arabs had adopted the same calendar but the names of the months are different in Arabic and Jews have some other name. So this is the artificial lunar calendar because it is artificial, it is not tallying with the faces of the moon. And uh, their calendar begins on the after the day of seeing the hila. So it is one or two days uh, behind the faces always. You can see this very clearly that they it doesn't will, tally with the face. They won't tally with the faces, but it will uh, go together with the moon always. Uh, not exactly the date which is showing the moon. It will be behind two days. We can see this from the date of birth of the Prophet ﷺ. The recorded date is 12th Rabiul Awal, Monday. You see, this 12th Rabiul Awal is actually 14th of Rabiul Awal. Full moon. Full moon. Yes, it, it, uh, it will not come on 12th. It will come only 14th. And if you calculate and see, this Monday which comes in the middle of the... Rabi Lavval uh, cannot come on the 12th. It is coming uh, on the 14th only. After 14, uh, 15th night is the full moon day. So, we know that they were using the artificial lunar calendar at that time. And Prophet ﷺ himself used the same calendar he was when he was in Mecca and uh, after uh, the first year of the Hijra also, the same calendar was used. The correction was made, he gave the instructions to uh, correct the moon, uh, correct the calendar according to the moon phases during uh, the uh, Ramadan. That is before Ramadan, when the ayat Kutiba Alaikum Suyam was revealed. It was, I think, in 15, after 15th of Shaban, uh, second uh, year of Hijra. At the time only he gives uh, how to correct it, to observe the moon and uh, find out the correct dates. So after that it was followed correctly. Okay, so at that time, uh, just for an information, so what is the uh, number of days in uh, for Muharram and what was the number of days for Ramadan? Which one you are asking? Means I am asking the artificial lunar calendar. Uh, how many days did uh, Muharram have at that time? Because it was artificial and it had artificial, uniformly the same number. Yes, artificial calendar Muharram had 30 days, Safar 29, Rabi level 30, and I, I like that alternating. Oh, so Safar, Ramadan must be always having 30 days? 30 days, yes. Yeah, okay. Shaban 29, uh, Shabwal 29. Oh, okay, 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 thank you.